Act, chapter 16, Paul is preaching out there. The Philippian jailers ask, What must I do to be safe? Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and I shall be safe. So you see a transition taking place from Jew to Gentiles, from believing in who Jesus is and what are baptized to receive the Holy Spirit and transiting in what Jesus did. Trusting in the Gospel and receiving the Holy Spirit when you believe that He did what He did for you in your place, for your sins. It's that simple. It can be more than one gospel, but the one who was different than the one who was preaching to the Gentiles. But the gospel has always been the same. It's the death, burial, resurrection of Jesus Christ. And it has been given to Paul, apostle, not by man, not through a man, but by God. By Jesus Christ and God the Father who raised him from the dead. According to Galatia 1, 1. Going back to Galatians chapter 2 in verses 7, it is written, On the contrary, they recognize that I had been entrusted with the task of preaching the gospel to the uncircumcised just as Peter has been entrusted to, the, to preach the gospel to the circumcised. So Peter was first to the Jew with the gospel and yet the gospel to the Jew wasn't enough. They still have to get the water baptized. Then we see the transition. Paul went with the gospel. God gave him the gospel. And it's only through this gospel what we say, we, that we are saved. And we are saved by faith in the gospel. In Romans 11, Verses 13, we see that Paul is the apostle of the Gentiles, is our apostle, not Peter. Even though Paul went to Jew and Gentiles, Peter is more of the apostle to the Jew. You must understand that it is not limited because of what uh, of that doesn't mean he cannot, uh, he can't win a soul for both sides. He was more for the Gentiles, but he went first to the Jew. And around us, uh, there's other Gentiles and there's other, other people as well. You must understand that he is not limited because of that. Peter would say nowadays, I'm a missionary to the Jew from Jerusalem, but he was going to the Jew. That doesn't mean he couldn't win any Gentiles. He did. And if Paul was alive today, he would say, I'm a missionary to the Gentiles. That doesn't mean he couldn't win any Jew. He actually tried to win a lot of Jew. In verse 8, we saw that uh, for God, that was also at work in Peter as an apostle to the circumcised, was also at work in me as an apostle to the Gentiles. Actually, verse 8 is a clarification of verse 7. Verse 9 James, Peter, is Cephas. Huh? This verse demonstrates the order in the book of the in the Bible. You find that order as well. James, 
Cephas, John, Cephas is Paul. Uh, pardon, Cephas is Peter. Those esteemed as pillars. What is a pillar? A pillar is a support, a column, a strong column. Again, James, Cephas and John, those esteemed as pillars, gave me and Barnabas the right hand of fellowship when they recognized the grace given to me. They agreed that we should go to the Gentiles and they to the circumcised. The circumcised are the Jew. We see the cross references for the word pillars in uh, Galat, the cha uh, Galatians chapter 2, verse 2 till 6, and verse 12 and 14. And he went up by revelation and committed unto them that gospel which I preached among the Gentiles, but privately to them which were of reputation, lest by any means I should run or had run in vain. There in Matthew 16, 18, it is written, And I say also unto thee, that thou Peter and you upon the neck, the rock, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. So again, because, uh, again, I will this again. Peter and you upon this rock, I will build the church and the gate of hell shall not prevail again against it. Ephesians 2, verse 2 says, And are built you upon the foundation of the, the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief corner stone. What we see is that they were going more fellowship for Peter to go to the Jew and Paul more to the Gentiles. So they determine it will be Peter's ministry and the early apostle, only the Jew, and they did. But the problem is that they became hypocrites. What's the definition of an hypocrite? This is someone who say they have particular moral or belief, but behave in ways that shows they are not sincere. Another word is uh, uh, dissenters. That's a term that acquires a very negative uh, connotation. In verse 9, it is interesting uh, the order as he put the name also, James, Cephas, we see that Cephas is Peter, and John. John, James first, then Cephas and John. They were the pillar of the church. After the book of Hebrews, we have the book of James, the book of Peter, And then after first and second Peter, we have the books of one and uh, second John. Then those books come after the book of Paul. They are in order in the Bible. You'll find it in order. You find Mark, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. They are all Old Testament until Jesus died. Next comes the book of Acts, and this book is an uh, ongoing book as it continues all the way over the Grand Tribulation. The book of Acts is the starting of the early apostles when they used to preach, to preach it, uh, transition to Paul, what he preaches, but then the early church to the Jew was Peter preached to the early Gentiles. 
that's going to start over again after the Grand Tribulation. The ministry and the early apostle and Paul is not finished, but this shows up. The early apostle has signs and miracles. They were all, all the time asking for this. And they were going to Jew. Over there, here in the tribulation period, after the rapture, the Bible says God's going to uh, deal with the Jew again. Woman 2 tells us that the Lord is not done with the Jew. When the rapture uh, takes place, the Jews going to come back again as a nation. Miracles and signs are going to take place again. And the same ministry that the apostles started in the early church is going to take place after the rapture. That's going to be Act 2.38. The Jews must realize they killed the Messiah. And what we need to do is... We need to be baptized in water, and we need to follow, to follow Jesus. So what was started need to be finished. The book of the Bible, our premillennium order. In the church age, we actually um, we find the book of Roman, which is Paul's book. The letters to the Romans, and you find Philemon and Hebrews. We got here from uh, Hebrew, James, uh, 1 Peter and 2 Peter, and 1 uh, 1 John and 2 John, uh, the book of Hebrew. And this book is written to, to whom? For sure, the Hebrew that applies to the rapture. As soon as Paul got saved, was the first book he wrote just in the beginning of the church age. The early church, this book of Hebrew, will apply later to the tribulation. James is written to the twelve uh, tribes of Israel. The first and the second Peters says Philemon suffered he was uh, persecuted. First John and Second John cannot be put in the time of Paul and the Gentiles, uh, the Church Age. It, to, it talk about uh, seeing God and when will you uh, will we see God? Exactly in the Great Tribulation. This ministry, when it started with sights and wonders to the Jew, with water baptized. All this will one day come back in the Grand Tribulation. But God said, they rejected me. I'm going to turn it out this way, and he did. So the ministry of the early apostle isn't over yet. So now, it's on, the, it's on hold, because this is the ministry we have been under. It is important to know we are not under Peter's ministry today. We are under Paul's ministry. Paul is our apostle nowadays. As we go to the book of Acts, we see the transition, the change. The book who were written is important to understand the, the Bible. And when you got this, it's easy to reflect on, on it, because you, you then understand why God have Paul and gave him the gospel. We are under grace now. And why the gospel that Peter was preaching will take place again, because the work there isn't finished, isn't done yet. We need to understand we are saved by the gospel, trusting in what Jesus did, and it's believing that saves us. And we receive the Holy Spirit of God at the moment that we believe, because we are Gentiles, and we are saved by grace through faith, by this gospel. Now, if you are a Jew today, and you're lost, 
you still have to be safe.